India, a land of diversity, a wonderful melting pot of cultures, customs, languages, religions and philosophies. Since ancient times, the subcontinent has been home to contrasting, often conflicting schools of thought like Vedanta, Samkhya, Yoga, Mimamsa, Charvaka and more. Thus, technological achievements based on science and traditions based purely on faith coexisted on this land. Though modern India is a secular state, faith and beliefs play a vital role in the lives of the majority of its citizens. Our patronage of music and arts, the celebration of vibrant festivals, our bond with nature and environmental conservation are all primarily based on traditions passed down through the generations. However, those traditions and practices leave the windows open for mysticism and supernatural to enter our lives. Superstitions and pseudosciences are so common in our culture and day-to-day -day life that we fail to even recognize their harmful effects. This is now a multi-million dollar industry in India with different forms like Vastu, Astrology, Numerology, Pranic Healing and hundreds more. And they earn their fortunes without ever having to manufacture any real products or prove any results. So, at a glance, this business model seems simply unstoppable. But all is not lost. A group of young Indians wearing the armor of science are on a journey to change the course. In this fight against superstition, their weapon of choice is reason. Today, we are at Portofilter in Hyderabad, India's first humanism themed coffee house. Let us meet the writers and hear their story. It is high time to choose whether we accept the pseudosciences as our heritage or acknowledge the inquisitive and scientific nature of Aryabhatta, Sushruta, Bhaskara as our true culture and heritage. Right for Reason is an extension of our ongoing humanist fascist movement in India. More than ever, today people from various parts of the world are embracing science and scientific method to observe, analyze and understand the world and the universe. Thanks to the internet and social media, many like-minded individuals from different walks of life are working together in Babu Guganini Facebook group. I had a pleasure of meeting my fellow riders there while working for other awareness campaigns and training sessions. In India, especially in southern part of the country, many organizations like Janavigyana Vedika, 
ఆంధ్ర ప్రదేశ్ రాష్ట్రమిస్ట్ అసోసియేషన్ ఎంఏఎన్ఎస్ ఇన్ మహారాష్ట్ర బికేఆర్ ఇన్ కర్ణాటక హ్యావ్ బిన్ వర్కింగ్ టైట్లెస్లీ టు క్రియేట్ సైంటిఫిక్ అవేర్నెస్ డెవలప్ రేషనలిజం అండ్ అరాడికేట్ సూపర్స్టిషన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ డే టు డే లైఫ్ ఇన్ ద పాస్ట్ ఎమినెంట్ లీడర్స్ లైక్ ఏటీ కోవూర్ బసవ ప్రేమానంద గోపరాజ్ రామచంద్ర రావు అండ్ రావిపూడి వెంకటాద్రి పై నీడ్ ద మూమెంట్ to battle exploitation and deception of public in the name of superstitions and beliefs in the past few decades the movement is being helped by stalwarts like narendra nayak babu gogneni and late narendra davalkar who have been working closely to bring awareness through mediums like tv discussions public meetings lectures in colleges social media etc with their inspiration we wanted to fulfill the long standing goal of legislation to protect people against superstitions and pseudo scientific business practices with the varied effectiveness anti superstition laws exist in a few states like bihar rajasthan odisha karnataka and maharashtra so we are submitting the representation to political leaders and bureaucrats for this legislation in telangana and andhra pradesh since it is a public interest bill we thought the best way to create awareness and gather support for this law is by going into the people directly for example many false claims are used to confuse us by attributing the false glory to our history instead of our true scientific achievements and heritage we must be proud of our ancestors contribution to human civilization like invention of zero but not for the false claims like vimana shastra or internet in mahabharata which are anti intellectuals after planning the initial road map we reached out to all the members and supporting groups to assist us with setting up the training sessions and meetings in various locations so it was an idea that started in my head we were able to continuously improvise the plans and made it better mainly because of their support and efforts we can never forget the kind of affection and support which we have received from our friends hundreds of humans came together at every meeting and worked in the background to make right for reason successful and our riders are forever grateful to everyone of you the riders traveled for 13 days and 3000 kilometers covered 23 destinations met dozens of government officials hundreds of activists and thousands of students and kindled the fire of science and reason in those young minds while celebrating the resounding success the team is also working on new ways to take their message far and wide and the need for legislation the anti superstition bill which the team is rallying for will be a crucial tool in protecting the public from exploitation in the name of superstitions and pseudo sciences however the true responsibility is upon all of us to build a generation a country a world that has robust immunity against such anti scientific notions and regressive practices in other words it shall be the duty of every citizen of india to develop the scientific temper humanism and the spirit of inquiry and reform